When drones have reached sexual maturity, they will be ready to look for a queen to mate with. There are special zones called drone congregation areas, which are like a 7-Eleven for boys to hang out at. The congregation areas are the same spots year after year. Somehow the drones know how to find them. It's unknown why the same areas are used year after year, nor how the drones know how to find them. They will most often leave their hide between 1 and 4 and 3 to 7 p.m. They will also visit multiple congregation areas in a day in search of a queen. They're able to fly for about 30 minutes, so first they make sure to fuel up by being fed, and then off they go. Thousands of drones will fly in a circle at the drone congregation area, and the circle can be from about 30 to 200 meters in size, which is 33 to 220 yards. Both the drones and the queen have a pheromone gland on their mandible that they release so the air will be heavily scented by the boys. The queens also know how to find the drone congregation areas. The drones have big eyes and they will quickly spot a queen and they will race toward her like a comet trail and whoever gets there first will be the first to mate. In the past, it was thought a queen would mate with maybe 12 to 20 or so drones. But in recent years, DNA tests on a queen's spermatheca, where she stores all the sperm from mating, have shown that she can mate with anywhere from 5 to 85 drones. Mating only takes two seconds, after which the drone dies. She can mate multiple times on one flight in a drone congregation area.